Welcome to another installment of Coach Yawe's Tweets Expounded. I'm Robert Yawe, your financial literacy coach. There are words that we normally, or statements we normally use, or we have tended to use over time, to the point that it seems to be real. Or as they say, a lie repeated frequently enough starts sounding like the truth. One of this is a statement that life is not fair. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki says this is the poor man's excuse for not making progress. Yet, on the other hand, we keep fetting those who have proven that statement wrong, whereby we keep saying how somebody's gone from ranks to riches. How come we don't then insist that life is not fair for that person? To that person, life was very fair. But the things he did to make sure that he did not resolve resolve himself to his fate. He basically decided, or she basically decided, that my status in life, before the age of 18, or thereabouts, has never really been my responsibility. So when a child who is 12, 16 says, we are poor, it's actually wrong. The person who could be termed as poor at that stage in that child's life is the parents. Or maybe the parents are not able to provide what society deems to be necessary for provision. But at that point, the child is able to decide, will I take responsibility for my future or will I just sit back and accept that life is not fair? That what the cards that life has dealt me determine my future. The same applies. If you say life is not fair, then again, yes, the fellow who goes from riches to rags could use the same, that life is not fair. But a lot of times we don't look back and understand why exactly did the person go from riches to rags. There's an action. There's something you have done intentionally, okay, maybe unintentionally, that has gotten you down from the high horse, or whatever it was you are. And the same way you should be able to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, as they say out of the quagmire, out of the, the ditch, and get yourself to the surface and beyond. Millions of people have done it. Therefore, it can't be that life is unfair. It's that we are unfair to our lives, in that we accept failure based on issues we had no control over, and then refuse to be successful by applying the benefits or the things we have within ourselves that would allow us to change our status in life or our situations. So next time you hear the statement, life is not fair, realize that that is an escapist statement that what you want to use to stay where you are. Thanks a lot for watching another installment of Coach Yahweh's Tweets Expounded. I'm Robert Yahweh, your financial literacy coach.